In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate a plant flow rate without exceeding a maximum hydraulic loading rate. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, a rectangular primary sedimentation basin is 100 feet long by 20 feet wide with an average liquid depth of 12.5 feet. What volumetric rate of flow, expressed in million gallons per day, can be treated in that basin without exceeding a unit hydraulic loading rate of 850 gallons per day per square foot? So we need to determine the max flow without exceeding 850 gallons per day per square foot of surface area in this basin. Well, as always, we want to write down our known and our unknown information. We're looking for flow in million gallons per day. What is the maximum flow we can have through the plant without exceeding this 850 gallons per day per square foot of surface area? Well, they tell us that our max is that 850 gallons per day per square foot, so we write that down. They give us the length and the width of the basin. It's 100 feet long by 20 feet wide, so we write that down. And we're not really concerned with the depth, so we just need to calculate our surface area. That's just length times width. So when we multiply our 100 foot, or excuse me, our 100 feet times the 20 feet, we get 2,000 square feet of surface area. Well, we know that we can have 850 gallons per day per square foot. So by multiplying times the 2,000 square feet of surface area, we can find out what our maximum flow is. And when we do that, we get 1,700,000 gallons per day, which is simply 1.7 million gallons per day. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.